This mixer came out in 2014. What the hell are we talking about in 2022? I pulled the trigger and got myself a QSC Touch Mix 8. And like I said in the intro there, this mixer is not new. 2014 is eight years ago. And in the industry of electronics and technology, that's looked upon as a bad thing. Here's just a reminder of what came out in 2014. Amazon Alexa, the iPhone 6, Captain America Winter Soldier, and Timber by Kesha and Pitbull were on the charts. I have them like Miley Cyrus clothes on, twerking in their bras and thongs. Timber. I'm gonna tell you the reasons why I love it and a couple of ways that it falls short. It is a digital mixer, which means I can do iPad control, which I was really looking for. Instead of doing Bluetooth though with the QSC Touch Mix, it uses the Wi-Fi, which is Brilliant. Bluetooth only gets you 20, 25 feet of distance, but with the Wi-Fi, you can walk all around the room. It's super easy to set it up. You just create your own network on the touch mix, your password, connect to your iPad, then go on your iPad, go to the iPad's Wi-Fi, connect to it, open up the app, and you can walk around, completely control it. All right, one of the really cool things about this mixer is right now I'm using the app to walk around the room and make sure that my satellite speaker, the remote speaker right there, which I told you I was gonna set up so they RCF is right here, it's right there so that I can get coverage in this room where the majority of dinner is and they had tables back there. And then my setup is way over there with the other speaker, but now I can walk around the room and uh, adjust the volume on it as I'm walking around to make sure that it, it sounds it sounds right. So I did the same thing with the microphone. This is the number one reason why I bought it the anti-feedback wizard. I'm not an audio engineer, I'm not a professional at that, but what I do have is feedback. Now here's how we get feedback as a DJ, and I'm speaking mostly as a wedding DJ, right? It's not so much when we're talking on the mic, it's when we're dealing with an officiant, and even more so now, they're not professional speakers. They used to be, but now it's like a family friend or an uncle. You know, to be honest, some of these professionals still aren't great at speaking in public you know they're do you taylor take trevor to be your lawfully wet speak up lady we get feedback when we're trying to get the volume up but then the volume of the speaker starts being fed into the microphone and then the microphone's hearing it, and you get stuck in this loop and boom you get feedback the other place we get feedback is during speeches and toasts because no matter how many times we tell people to keep the microphone up to their mouth you can see it's a <laughs> it's gone being able to dial out the feedback is something that was super intriguing to me. And the Touch Mix 8 makes it really easy. You just basically run the feedback wizard. You pull up the main fader on the master, and then you literally get feedback. You start to hear it, and as the Touch Mix hears the feedback, it dials in where it is, the frequencies, and eliminates them. Absolutely amazing to me. I tried it out this weekend, no feedback and I could hear the toasts and speeches and the officiant perfectly. Because it's a digital mixer, I also love that you can save scenes. There are certain venues that I go to many, many times and it would be nice to kind of, you know, I ring out the room or I get the sound right and you could save all that, name the venue so the next time I go back to that venue, I can just pull up, oh, there it is, there's a JX and load that up and all my settings are exactly where I need them. This is also super handy for that particular venue because I always have to do a room flip there and I can't ever get a sound check. So having those presets already done is just amazing. Built-in presets are also really cool. The Touch Mix has lots of presets. So if you're hooking up an acoustic guitar, you're doing a saxophone, violin, uh, even your handheld, it has one for a lavalier mic, it has one for a podium mic. And what they actually did was they went through and they got these actual instruments in a studio, hired some professional beefcake looking audio <laughs> engineers, and they figured out all the presets, loaded it in, so all you basically have to do is pick your channel, hit the preset, and you should be ready to go. It comes with a case! Oh my God, DJ gear, music gear that comes with the case. Now, obviously I'm sure that they built this into the price. I don't give a shit and it's nice. It's not a little flimsy bag. It's, it's, it's molded to the mixer. It zips up really nice. I think if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm a little vain, okay? Vanity is a part of this job for me. I like the way my stuff looks. If it doesn't look good, that bothers me. And the QSC Touch Mix 8, looks cool. Touch screen on it, it's sleek, it's sexy. When other people come back behind my booth and they see my Denim Prime 2, it turns heads because it, it looks techy, it looks 
new. And even though this Touch Mix is almost eight years old, it looks new and it looks cooler than a regular mixer. Here are some of the things that I feel like it fell short. It is a little concerning that it is so old. Even worse than that though, is that there has not been a firmware update since 2018. So almost four years since a firmware update. Anytime I see like any kind of technology that, you know, even if I'm getting an app on the app store, if I see there hasn't been an update in at least six months, I think it's dead. Right, the developers just gave up on it. I don't think that QSC gave up on it because they're still producing these things, but the fact that there hasn't been any new firmware update, I would love to, to speak with one of them, or if you are QSC, leave us in the comments, like, what's going on? Are you guys done? Or are you working on something amazing? The touch screen isn't multi-touch, which means, you know, on your iPad, or, you know, you can have two fingers on it at once, or you can pinch to zoom. The touch screen on the QSC, you can only, you know, do one thing at a time. But that's where if you switch over to the iPad app, you can do whatever you want on that. The last con is that as of 2022, it is almost impossible to find. I had put up on my Instagram that I picked one up and I got so many messages. Where the hell did you find it? The honest truth is just I hunted every single night. Every night I jumped on Google at like 11 o'clock at night and just scouring. Where are these things? Is anyone selling it? Then I just locked out on Google. I found this Pittsburgh shop, which shout out to Pittsburgh, my black and gold. And I actually called them the next day because, you know, I was like, there's no way they actually have it because I ordered it. And they're like, no, it came in the day you ordered it. We got the eight and the 16 and they're both gone. And QSC basically told us, don't put any more orders for us because we're not doing them. It's not QSC's fault. It's just goddamn impossible to get any pieces that these companies need to make this cool shit. It's so frustrating as a consumer, but I cannot imagine how frustrating it is for these companies that know there's demands for their products and they can't sell them. If you like this review, go ahead and click on this one. I review the RCF JMix 8s, the main speakers that I use as a DJ. They're a Colomary speaker and I think they kick ass. I'll see you over there.